I just want to tell you a few episodes of my life with YSG. When I started with YSG, I started with a film called Dar, in which I was really a bad guy, and I was killing people and misbehaving uh, completely, even without being on drugs. And uh, that was that was really really intense. And I remember YSG met me and he said, "Tu jab tak lover boy play nahi karega na, tera kuch nahi hone ka hai." But I didn't want to be a lover boy. I didn't want to be a person in love. I'm not very uh, good with romance. Except when I'm showing sunset to Rekha, uh, that time I'm really cool. <laughs> But I, I, I really am not, and I didn't know if I could. I didn't think I'm good-looking enough. I didn't think I'm a pretty boy enough to play romance and films and do the stuff. But he kept on telling me always, "Jab tak tu love story nahi karega, tera career nahi banega." And when Yash Chopra tells you that, then you say, "Okay, there must be some sense to it." So if I don't look like a, a, a you know, a romantic hero, even if I don't act like one. i have to just go by his belief and i did and it it genuinely did pay dividends it really has created my career yash chopra has single handedly created my career to for me to become i mean it's a very strange circle that i should be receiving an award uh, which honors him by the memory of yash chopra and i am who i am because of what yash chopra made me do and made me into so i thank him for that my second instance that i'd like to tell you about him is that he told me uh we had some problems once making a film and he turned around and i must have behaved well and he said outdoor jab actors jaate hai na to unka jab wahan par behavior dekha jata hai tab malum padta hai kitne acche hote hain ye mumbai mein malum nahi padta hai yaar uh i'm not speaking like him because people think i'm making fun of him i would do it out of love and say like how yes you told me pata nahi chalta yaar ki kitna outdoor mein malum padta hai aur outdoor mein to bada sharif hai yaar har tarah se so i said thank you and then i said yes ji but really why do you say that and i thought he'll give me some spiel is it to bombay mein to bahut zyada late aata hai outdoor pe to time pe to aa jata hai at least <laughs> and the third was when i was in uh, kashmir like i said i had never um my father was his his mother was kashmiri and he always said that if, if there is one uh, place in the world that you don't go and see without me it should be uh, kashmir and uh, so i didn't go ever i remember the chief minister saab the ex chief minister saab met me and he also invited me i said many aunga mere pita ne kaha tha mere baap ne kaha tha ki wahan pe sirf mere sa jana warna mat jana and i didn't go till yes you decided to make jab tak hai jaan de and uh, i went so like i said in the documentary for me it was going back and going and visiting kashmir the most beautiful place in the world that my father said and i went with my father and my family so i thank him for that and i do remember i was giving my last shot my akhri shot de raha tha jeep ke upar and yes you did come to me and say tu ja yaar tu ash kar tera last shot ho gaya hamara bhi abhi last shot hi hoga and uh, like he said in the interview we did 3 weeks before he passed away um, that he he didn't want to make any more films but i think somewhere deep down inside there was one more film i could have done with mr yash chopra actually there was one more film each one of us could have watched of mr yash chopra actually there was not just one more film we could keep on watching one more and one more and one more and one more and do one more and do one more and act in one more and just be a part of one more film of mr yash chopra uh, but only the good die young uh, allah does take away from you things that are the dearest and the most special and so did he take away perhaps one of the most creative human beings one of the simplest one of the basic um do good a kind hearted soul i have met in my life uh, in the last couple of years i was working with some directors and you know you have your conversation with the young people and i was talking to them and while talking to them you know half an hour i discussed the film we are doing and one and a half hour even till day before yesterday i think i was with mr anand rai the next one and a half hour all i discuss is how mr yash chopra made you feel on the sets how mr yash chopra directed you on the set how mr yash chopra more than direction and made you feel loved you on the set how mr yash chopra served you parathas on the set so i'm i'm going to miss him this is an extremely emotional moment and uh, even though i feel it from the inside i don't want to externalize it because this has been a long evening for me one of the most important evenings of my life to be honest because like i said to begin with uh, the set of people who are here talking such wonderful nice things about me showing me a documentary where i seem to have achieved a lot 
none of this is possible if it wasn't for all the beauty and the love and the kindness and gentleness and even now the enthusiasm um, everybody gives me whenever I meet them. I'm not well mannered, I've just been well brought up by the Indian film industry. So thank you all of you belonging to the Indian film industry for bringing me up so well. And yes, I do uh, agree with Shatru Saab when he said that His Excellency did mention about that I stand for the culture and I stand for what an Indian should be and that's a very nice thing to say, sir. So thank you very much for being so kind to me and saying that for each actor and each actress and all of us uh, working hard to make things go better and become as beautiful as the memory of Mr. Yash Chopra. So thank you everyone present here for honoring me with this. Thanks a lot. God bless you all. Thank you.